Okay. Um, well, uh, we we are also from the south, in South America actually, and much uh, less developed than South Africa. So uh, uh, <laughs> I feel close, but uh, we are not so developed as South Africa. Then uh, what we are, what I'm going to talk today is uh, international activities. We we are a, a part of a university that um, the objective today is to present the international workshop that we have at Isalud. Isalud uh, is a university, a private one, um, in Argentina, and we have 40 million people. The university has something like 5,000 5, students, and 500 of them are member uh, participate in these two manage management courses. The, the master course in health economics and management and the master course in health system and social security. Uh, these are the two main courses. And we, we have been teaching these two courses for the last 20 years or so. And uh, more or less, uh, the two of them account for 150 students every year. The, these are courses of two years long. And the academic activity is a workshop that we design every year and we go to different countries in relation with the agreements that the university, university have with different countries. So in the last five years, we went uh, two times to Spain, once to Barcelona and one to Madrid. This year we are going to Madrid. Then uh, 2015, we went to Washington. And before that, we went to Chile and uh, to Rio de Janeiro. What I'm going to tell you today is the experience in order to show you the activities that we do during this workshop and the, the effect on the master course students of coming with us in a group of 40 people to new uh, uh, different system, a different health system. So uh, I'm going to tell you about the 2016 experience, which was Barcelona, and 2015 experience, which was Washington. Well, this is what I told you before about the students. And um, I am the director of the master course in health economics and management. So actually, with these two courses, these two master courses, uh, we cover either health economics and management, and then on the other side, we cover social security and public health. So um, when we go to Bar we went to Barcelona, the group was something about 45 students. I coordinated with other two assistant professors. And the logic underlying our trips or our journeys, our academic journeys, is to draw a sort of stakeholder map about the country that we are visiting. So what we try to do is to work with the different uh, social sectors and actors. So in the case of Barcelona, we paid a visit to the authority of the health system, mainly to the Servei Catala de Salud and the Cochrane collaboration which had a sort of Spanish organization, which was the uh, Ibero-American Cochrane Collaboration. We also have a look to the health insurance system and agency from a macroeconomic point of view. So we talk with the people who are the uh, coordinators of all the organizations that provide services. I don't know if you are familiar with the Catalan health system, but it's a very interesting system because the public sector contract out everything in all the country. Catalonia is 9 million people. For the state should be like the Veteran Health Administration <laughs> in, in relation to scales, but it is a country. They, they consider themselves a country. Nowadays, they are still under Spain, but probably in the future, they will get as a country independent. So the U Union Catalana of Hospitals, which is this, is the association of all the hospitals that are the head of the, insure, of, of the group that provides services to the health system. 
Then they have one of the leading health evaluation of technology agency in all the country, which is called uh, Agencia Evaluadora de Tecnología de Salud. And the new point there is that they uh, not only uh, evaluate technologies, but also quality. That's, that's why it's called AQUAS. The second, the Q there is called for quality. And on the other side, uh, from the microeconomics point of view, we have a look to two hospitals, the Hospital San Juan de Dios, San Juan de Deus, and then the Hospital de Santa, San Pablo y Santa Cruz. These are maximum complexity hospital. The first one is pediatric, and the second one is a general hospital. And finally, we went to the University of Pompeu Fabra, and we had some excellent conference from Guillem Lopez Casanova, which was uh, one of the members of IHEA board, and Vicente Ortun Rubio. These are the presentations. Casanova is like a, a sort of macroeconomics uh, professor, and so he talk about health system, access to healthcare and solidarity in Spain. And Ortun Rubio is more uh, half of it, half economics and half management. So he talks about the contribution to health economics uh, and the management of the health sector. Then we, we have a presentation uh, at the hospital, San Pao e Santa Creu. Then we have the people from the Cochrane Collaboration. And finally, we went to a place called Tarragona, which is south from Barcelona. And it's very interesting because you, you see a network. You see the case of the network working there and see how the hospital of Tarragona uh, connect with other places of primary Healthcare. Well, these are the pictures. This is Professor uh, Guillem Lopez Casanovas and our foundator, Ginez Gonzalez Garcia. Uh, this is Vicente and the students. This is Tarragona. This is the boss, Dr. Atzera. This is the hospitals and something else. Well, when we, we went to Washington like four or five times in the last 10 years, and usually what we do when we go to the city of Washington, we have two things. One, we talk with people which are representative of the United States health system. In, last, in 2015, we managed to get a, a whole day at Georgetown University at the School of Public Policy and discuss about the Affordable Care Act. It was a little more political than a, um, a little more political approach than yesterday than when Randy and some other people talk about it. But it was really very interesting. And then the other four days, we uh, work at PAHO and the Pan American Health Organization, the World Bank, and the World Bank. What we discussed at PAHO was uh, how was going the management of the FDA, the fast track for the new drugs, and then uh, crucial topics for Latin America, like the health technology uh, assessment and the health technology agencies. Actually, PAHO is doing a, a review in all the network of the health technology agencies in Latin America. And then another key issue in Latin America is also the benefit packages. How, you, how do you develop uh, benefit packages for the population? And so the government uh, makes the surveillance that all the insurance company at least provide these minimum health packages for the population. So once again, we did it in this way. We, we see first uh, the authorities of the health system, so we step by uh, in 2015 at the World Bank and at Bajo and the IDB. And in a previous trip in 2004, a long time ago, we managed to get an interview with the lady who was the Secretary of Health, actually the Deputy Officer of Health. In macro macroeconomic topics, we have a look at Medicare and Veteran Health Administration in, in previous year. In macroeconomics, we discussed the Food and Drug Agency last year, 2015. And 
in very microeconomics, we also visit the university hospital, the George Washington University Hospital. Each time we do this kind of trip, it's very interesting because the students want to go to see the hospitals and see the, touch the field, what we talk in Spanish, touch the field. So they really go there and try to get everywhere and it's a mess to coordinate them because suddenly they get into <laughs> <laughs> the operation room and stuff like that. And we have to do a lot of control of this guy. We, okay, so these were the presentations. Uh, Alan Waxat and Tanya Dimitrenko presenting the, the evolution of the universal health coverage, coverage in America Latina at the World Bank. And Ferdinando Regalia talk about the social and health programs of the IDB in Argentina in a very nice project from Mesa America, which is funded by the uh, Bill Gates Foundation in Spain and the IDB Bank with a lot of incentives inside the program. So in seven countries are competing for the funds and they are measured in base of their results in terms of health. So th there is a lot of new uh, tools of health economics doing in this kind of projects. Well, this is uh, our best picture, but this is just Georgetown University. And well, I'm gonna make any, any comments about the, everyone in the picture because it's too long. <laughs> this is Professor Adam Waxat and Tanya. And this is our final picture at Pajo when we were living. Uh, the, I really appreciate to be here and, and thanks to Professor Alan Goodman. And I think the most part of the presentation is to try to figure out which are the contributions for the graduate students to do this kind of journey. And basically what we find out is that the students get very much uh, motivated to see new experience in new countries and figure out which is the best way to solve, for example, uh, subjects related with risk adjustment, payments, and incentives, and how do you regulate insurance company, which, for example, in our country is quite an issue. And, and finally, for the students, which are in the process of producing the thesis, most of the people that come to our trips or journeys really finish the thesis in time and are motivated, highly motivated, to complete their academic work. For the teaching staff, uh, we usually go two or three professors. This is also highly motivating, and, and you find that the people start to think about uh, writing uh, new articles or doing some research or stuff to, to get him more um, enthusiastic about the academic work. Uh, from the point of view of the master course, the, one of the key issues for me is that we are all the time discussing and uh, actualizing our contents. So this year in, in Spain, we are planning to have uh, two visits to hospitals. We are going to discuss with the Ministry of Health in Madrid about the, how do they deal with the new pharma products and we are discussing a lot of public health uh, subjects. For example, the, all the issue about, um, how do you say, traffic accidents, which is a, a growing a, epidemic in South America, and a lot of young people get uh, hurt or die in this kind of accident. All the issue about transplants, all the issue about drugs, well, for us, Spain is a sort of a reference country which has very well, has performed very well in subjects like uh, uh, safety, traffic safety, and transplant, and are in the, in the better places of Europe as a model. And the second one that is that as a master course and as a university, we have a lot of interchange, and f f every year, when we go there, we get professors to come down to Argentina, which then probably they get some academic uh, uh, grants or price uh, premium. So th there is a, a very fluent contract. Um, well, 
there are some some issue here about macroeconomic topics and microeconomic topics that I will send to you. And finally, this is what we are developing now, a uh, sort of all the development of Ingo Vogelson, yep, uh, Ingo Vogelson, Leroy Jones, and Pankaj Standon, which was an approach from institutional economics about how do you map every country where you go, and here is always our well-known market factors, supply, demand, market structure, conduct, performance, and on the other hand, the institutional factors which are the government objectives, the objectives of interest groups, and the objectives of management and personnel. So many times when we go to the country, uh, we, like in Mexico, we see that there is a, a new law, or in Chile, we see that there is a new law developed, but then when it goes to the parliament, it's been reduced and be modified because of all these institutional factors that when we analyze only by the market or from a very close economic point of view, they, these are not considered. So we always try to have this kind of span of seeing market factors and institutional factors. So that's, that's our, uh, the, our comment, and that's, those were the contribution of our academic workshop, international academic workshop. We do not use Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, uh, our university is relatively, it has something like 26 years old, and most of the professors are very much connected with Spain and with the US. So for example, uh, some of our professors teach in those hospitals, uh, so that's the, the Spanish connection we can classify for the CIA. And then we have another issue with the U.S. that many of our professors worked at PAHO. So one of them was the fifth manager during five or six years. So um, we, we have a lot, as a university, even small, we have a lot of relationship with different countries. Sometimes they come to Argentina and the, 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 the authorities decided to provide them a sort of uh, honorific title and that makes a sort of networking. I mean, the, the secret for us is uh, as you, uh, similar to what you presented before to really work on that networking, but that will take uh, quite a long time. I mean, it's, Sometimes you prepare a, a trip, a journey, or this kind of international workshop, it will take you at least two or three years to, to finish and run that. And many times you have everything ready, and something falls down, so you always need to have a sort of plan B, alternatives to every, uh, to every journey, I mean, to every day of the journey, no? Usually we leave the students two or three tips if, if they are useful for you. One is that we usually meet on Sunday uh, before the week starts. And usually you need to leave the students, these master course students, uh, f free at least twice in the week. Because if not, they will take the, their holiday the same. So <laughs> it's better to, <laughs> to agree on that. And usually we close the week on t uh, Tuesday. Tuesday night. So Friday, it's optative. Wh whoever wants comes and the other will not. But for example, it was a battle in Rio de Janeiro. Uh, we uh, tried to put 45 people on a bus in front of Ipanema. We watched completely crazy. I, I, I really make a lot of discussion inside the university, but they put me the hotel in Ipanema and we have to take a bus and go 50 minutes to a place which was uh, Instituto of Fio Cruz. The, as I think in time of the Minister of Health, 45 minutes ag again uh, away. So I have to fight and discuss <laughs> a lot of trouble because nobody want to get into the bus in front of the beach. You know? So the, the places where you go have to be 
ugly, basically, <laughs> rainy, <laughs> and the best thing to do is to go to the university or the hospital. Thank you so much. Okay.